Simpson back with you from Guitar Work. Welcome back. Uh, here is a, a song that uh, multiple requests for. This is Sister Golden Hair by America. Fantastic song. Um, it's going to give you a bar chord workout, that's for sure. I want to mention to you that there's also a way to play this without bar chords if you were to capo on the fourth fret. And I've posted, uh, actually here, if you go, if you go to patreon.com slash guitar at work, you pick up the song sheet. All the strumming will be there and everything. There'll also be a sheet uh, that uh, gives you it with capo four uh, so you can avoid these bar chords. And all you'd have to do is substitute the chords in that sheet with the one that you're seeing here now. Um, so yeah, so lots of bar chords. And thanks again for coming back and subscribing and all that good stuff. Thumbs up really helps here on YouTube. And multiple requests for this one, as I say. Um, it's going to give you uh, a C sharp minor. You've seen this guy before. C sharp minor. We'll do the exact strumming pattern, but just to look through these chords, you're going to find them at the bottom of that handwritten page if you've got those sheets. And again, you can go to patreon.com slash guitar at work and get them to get through this a whole lot easier if you do. Uh, C sharp minor up here on the fourth fret. You'll see a Roman numeral four beside the diagram. Watch out for that. And then you're going to see an A this way here. Let's go quickly through them and you can stop tape if those are new to you. And then we're heading to the only non-bar chord here, which is an E. Yeah. E sus4, it's just a pinky on. Second fret of that G string. We're gonna be poking our pinky in there once in a while, just for a bit of effect. And then we're heading to a G sharp minor. Not necessarily in order here, guys, just running through them. This is G sharp minor, fourth fret. There's that guy. And there's, there'll be a B in there as well. Uh, that's a tricky way to play the B, but I think you're going to find you can get it. Just try to get that uh, elbow back and uh, help with the bar. Barring with the third finger there, as you can see. And trying to X out the low E and the high E. How do you get rid of that high E? Well, just try to get that bar so that he's actually kind of stifled and muted out. And uh, in the chorus, you're going to see some really cool chords. This is B add four. So that's like a, it's like a B bar chord up here in the seventh fret, and you just don't bar. You stand up that first finger like that, and you get that beautiful ringing of the high E string and B string. There. And that's always going to be heading to A add nine. Same thing, two frets lower. Okay, and finally E. Now in the chorus, we'll go through it slowly in a second with the strumming. Um, in the chorus, we're going to end up going B add four, A add nine. And then I'm just going to drag, bring pinky and middle here down to the first fret. So it's a sort of an unusual fingering for an E. I'll call it an incidental fingering, where you're, it just makes more sense because you're going to be repeating that in the chorus. You're going to hear this. A add nine. So that's you just dragging him around. He's going to go back up. A. So those are your chords, and I know that uh, if bar chords are new to you, this is definitely a tough one. You're going to have to ice down your wrist after this, but it is worth chasing. Um, a song like this will get you in the game bar chord wise for sure, and I'll repeat, uh, if you're just not up to the bar chords, if you just want a nice campfire version, there is absolutely no shame in doing it with capo 4. Go grab that sheet from Patreon, and uh, you can capo 4, no bar chords, and you can do the same strumming we're doing here today. So let's take a look at the intro, classic, classic intro with a very specific strumming pattern. Um, just, just a, I guess, a word in my own defense. When you see a lot of down ups on a sheet of paper, down ups and all that, remember the right hand is just normally going down like this in this song, down up, down up. It's when you choose to actually strike the guitar that uh, you're seeing the down ups actually written. But assume it's always down up. There'll be the odd little pause. Sometimes there's two ups in a row. But remember, to get two ups in a row, you have to do a down stroke. So up, I have to go back down to get the next up like that. Just you may not hit the guitar sometimes on that downstroke. So be aware that it's really just down up with the appropriate attacks that you're seeing there on that sheet of paper. Uh, so here is your intro. Um, on the C sharp minor, fourth fret here, I am going to go C sharp minor. You, you'll see down, 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 up, X. Now, what's that X? That X is when you release the pressure here on the C sharp minor. Keep the shape, keep the shape for sure. Down, 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 up and then cut through the strings with a downstroke. You'll get that muted or percussive effect there. So I'm going again, C sharp minor, down, 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 up, X. Now there's an A uh, bracketed just before the bar line there. That means push. To push means to come in early, typically on the upstroke, okay? So if, you're, if your chord is pushed, it means it's on the upstroke. It's just more rhythmically exciting, I'll, I'll call it. It really, uh, it bends the bar line a bit, and they're doing a whole lot of that in this song. There's multiple guitars in there, remember, so we're trying to capture the one that would be uh, just, the, the one that captures the spirit of the whole strumming pattern just by one guitar playing it. So here again, C sharp minor, down, 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 up, whack. 
Now I gotta get to that A on the upstroke. Okay, so I'm gonna continue through the A bar here. C sharp minor, three, four. Down, 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 up, whack, up, down, up, down, down, up. There we go, I missed my upstroke there, but it was there in spirit. So here's top again, C sharp minor, three, four. Down, 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 up, whack, up, down, up, down, down, up. And now there's an E. He's also pushed, he's gonna come in on that upstroke. Uh, in that E bar, I'm gonna go uh, starting on the up, up, down, down, down. Now E sus4 on this upstroke. And then E again, remove that pinky on the next upstroke. So if I take it from the E, starting on the upstroke in the previous bar, E, up, down, 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 sus, regular E, and then down, 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 up, smack. Okay, so here's top, C sharp minor, let's add a bar. Remember, stop tape as this starts to pile up. Here we go, C sharp minor, three, four. Down, 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 up, whack. A, down, up, down, down, up, A, up, down, 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 sus, E, down, 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 up, whack. Now there's at the end of that first line on that handwritten page, you're seeing G sharp minor, fourth fret there as we went through. He's pushed, he's coming in early because he's at the end of that bar. So here's a G sharp minor, uh, starting from there, end of the first line, G sharp minor, three, four, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, smack. And then C sharp minor is pushed, up, down, 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 up, whack. We're gonna take it from the top again. Make sure you stop tape, there's a lot there. Here's C sharp minor, three, four. Down, 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 up, whack. A, down, up, down, down, up, whack. E, down, 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 sus, regular E. Whack, G sharp minor, one down, 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 up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, whack. C sharp minor, down, down, up, whack. B, down. Down, up, whack, A, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There we go. Uh, the whole thing slowly, okay? The whole, I'll go through it a couple of times, very, very slowly. Uh, try to read it as you go, and, you know, memorize it as you go as well. It'll be a feel thing. C sharp minor from the top. Three, four, down, 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 up, A, up, down, up, down, down, E, down, sus, up, up, down, down. Down, up, whack, G sharp minor, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, whack, C sharp minor, down, down, up, whack, B, down, down, up, whack, A, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, and it should have been a whack at the end, boom. All the way through, I'm not gonna call it out, the ups and downs anymore, because it's actually harder to do that than it is to play it. <laughs> so here is top, very slowly, three, four, a, E, sus, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, B, A, whack, there we go, last time, here, C sharp minor, three, four, section. Hey, and if I did a couple things differently in there, I'll just for your own sake too, it's not wrong if you put in an extra down or an extra up. Remember, there's multiple guitars in there. They are crisscrossing. Uh, but if you try to use this as a skeleton, uh, try to memorize that, as difficult as that might be. And then you can kind of feed off that. You can do variations of your own. So again, it's not wrong. I may have done an extra here and there. Uh, so at full clip, I think about this speed. E, four, one, two, three, four, and... So the 
verse section. Again, you may have to stop tape, make sure you do. Um, on the E chord, uh, you're going to see in the, uh, on the song sheet itself, to the right, in the upper right, you'll see a strumming pattern. Uh, up, down, up, whack, up, down, up, whack. Okay, so off I'm on the E chord here. Up, down, up, whack, up. Now that E, the E is tricky B to whack B and, and silence it because you've got some open strings that are going to ring out of control. So you do have to kind of flail downwards with your hand there to shut things up. So I'm going to go up, down, up, whack, up, down, up, whack. Yeah, so we're starting on the and of four. If I did this, and, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Just sitting on E there. Two bars of that. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. The G sharp minor is coming in on the F and the and as well. So they're all pushed here in the verse section. They're pushed. At least one guitar in the recording is doing that. The other guy seems to be coming in uh, right on the money, right on the beat. Um, so let me take it very slowly through the uh, through the verse section. And remember, at least on my charts, if the chords are bracketed uh, together like that, they like uh, in the C sharp minor and the B, you're going to see in what would be the third line of that verse. Uh, those are two beats apiece, so that's half a bar there. So uh, that just means they're, they're flying by a little more quickly. Uh, here is an E in the verse section. Three, four, up, down, whack. Try to make it Sunday. G sharp minor. Got so damn depressed. Here's an A here. Set my sights. Monday. E. G sharp minor. I should have come in on the up there. A. Ready? F sharp minor. Here's two and two. C sharp minor. B. A. F sharp minor. Woman. A. Can be. Friend of mine. There we go. Okay, so let me do that again slowly here. Here is the verse section. Two, three, four. Try to make it Sunday. G sharp minor on the up. Got some damn depressed. A bar chord. Set my sights. E Monday. G sharp minor. And got myself. I'm dressed twice there. A. I ain't ready. F sharp minor for the altar. C sharp minor to B are quickies. Do you agree? A times F sharp minor when a woman. A can be E sus. No, good stuff. I can't help myself. Sometimes uh, I don't want to go to that bar chord A because you know the, where it's uh, C sharp minor to B when they're two and two. <coughs> I feel like I'm heading left here anyway. I might just go to the, the regular sort of open A chord there, the open chord, which is A. I'll go C sharp minor. So nobody's going to throw fruit at you or anything like that. They are using a bar chord, but if you're just more comfortable heading to A as I am, uh, what, what I'm heading east or west, whatever that might be. Um, so you again, stop tape if you've got to get that together for sure. If this is your first foray into bar chords, it's going to be a misery. Uh, but it is well worth it. If, you, if these are new to you, they're going to open up a lot of doors. It's kind of the next level for you. So uh, try to get going on those for sure. Second verse, much the same, except at the very end, you're going to see the word punch is written beside the final E. Uh, and they just go bang, bang. I'll play it from the last line in that verse. So I'm going to start on F sharp minor uh, where the lyrics are, but it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind. Here's an F sharp minor just to show you these punches. F sharp minor. A. Here's an E. Sus. E. And you're seeing clearly. And there's, uh, it's a good thing if you were to stop it with your right hand as well. In that section anyway. Uh, you can, you can as well um, when you're doing the the regular verse on an E or any other chord. You can smack it with your right hand. Uh, it's a bit more percussive that way. Um, so hey, that brings us to the chorus after these punches. Bah, bah. And I love this part. It all just opens up. I'm not going to push any of the chords. They're going to be right on beat one. I love this B add four. Gorgeous chord. Now. And there's an A add nine, as we talked about earlier, and I'm going to drag that E down. Yeah, so B add four. Let's get the chorus together first. In the chorus, B add four. Meet me in the middle. There's two bars in B add four. A add nine, two frets lower. And remember, it's just like your A bar chord was, or your B bar chord up here. B bar chord, and I'm going to stand up that first finger. So he's not actually barring, and we're opening up the high E and the B string. Okay. And 
they will become in those two strings open to the A add 9. The whole thing just rings to get a beautiful. Let's go common tone, and of course they are common to the E. There's our specialty fingering in this case where we're just dragging down that E chord. Uh, so it's because it's so much easier to repeat. Go ahead and back up that way. And I'm just going to go straight down and up on this guy. No slapping, no popping, nothing. Here's B add four, two bars. Two, three, four. Meet me in the middle. A add nine. Meet me. E. B add four. A add nine. E. F sharp minor. Stop dead there, one shot. G sharp minor. A add nine, which is A the bar chord again, but stand them up. There's that luscious add nine in there. Wow, delicious. Yeah. Okay, so slowly, here's your chorus. One, two, three, four. B add four. In the middle. A add nine. E. E add four. A add nine. Stop on an F sharp minor here. G sharp minor, A add nine. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And you hold that A add nine for two bars, two counts of four, and then we're back to the intro. As discussed earlier. Exactly the same thing. Okay, so there we go. Hey, look for a play along video coming for this one very soon. Uh, a lot of requests for this song to how to play it, etc. But also for a play along video. You may have seen the play along series. Definitely going to add one. I'm shooting a whole bunch of videos today, this weekend. It's Easter weekend here, and it's fun to do this. Um, there's nothing else in there, guys. It's just it's going to repeat round and round and round. It's going to go. Um, one cool thing you can do, so I don't forget to mention it, on that B chord or on the on the chorus, uh, I love to do what I call the articulate strum in there. Instead of just pounding it out straight down, up, down, up. And remember, you want your accents on two and four. That really drags it along. Listen to the difference. Here's without the accents. Sterile right there. You know, if I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one. Yeah, somehow something called the articulate strum. Instead of down up uh, completely, I am gonna isolate the low E and then play the D string with an upstroke and then strum the three remaining strings. There's a video on the articulate strum somewhere, a strumming series, I think it's called, on that Guitar at Work channel. So I'm gonna go down on the bass note, up on the D string and then strum the top three remaining. Yeah, so you're counting that one, and two, and three, and four, and again slowly, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There we go. So if I do that with the three chords in the chorus, Shiny, if that's a musical word, just instead of uh, all the time. Well, that is very satisfying. Uh, I think I would throw a little bit of that articulate strum in there. And singers appreciate it because it's not as loud as just pounding it out. Right? Good stuff. Now, I know that's quick and dirty, and that uh, the strumming pattern, it is worth chasing. There's a lot to it there, and uh, I, I don't dance, believe me, but I'm a strumming, learning a strumming pattern is a little bit like learning a dance up left, right, left, and doesn't feel musical until you really, really own it. So a good idea too, if you're struggling with the chords, why not just choke the strings at first and do the strumming pattern down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, da, da. Just get that going uh, as per the sheet. Uh, so you, may, you memorize the right hand separate and apart from the left hand. Yeah. Again, look for a play along video on this one coming very soon. That's Sister Golden Hair. And I'll remind you, you can get the sheets for this from uh, patreon.com slash guitar at work. There's a bunch of other things coming up there at Patreon, uh, Patreon exclusive content. So thanks everybody for all of your support. Your thumbs up mean a lot in YouTube land, that's for sure. Hit the subscribe button, there's an opportunity to do that toward the end of the video. And make sure you uh, keep the comments coming, the suggestions. Uh, this was a really great one. I love Bubble America stuff. So thanks for coming back. We'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.